So far in our development unit, we've learned that in order to grow, cells have to divide to make more cells. And when cells divide, they do that at the end of the cell cycle. In this video, we're going to focus on the actual process of cell division uh, by zooming in on the details of mitosis. Uh, to start off, it's helpful to clarify the difference between chromosomes, chromatids, and chromatin. So chromatin is how we would usually find DNA wound around protein in a kind of a big old mess in the middle of the nucleus. So anytime the cell is in interphase, this is how the DNA looks. However, during mitosis, uh, the chromosomes will form. So this is when the DNA is in a nice compact form, a rod-shaped body called a chromosome. You'll only see chromosomes during mitosis and cytokinesis. Now chromatids will form after S phase. Chromatids are simply connected identical copies of the chromosomes. So in this picture, here's one chromosome, but it consists of two sister chromatids. Here's one chromosome consisting of two sister chromatids. So in both cases, these are nice and compact, but here the chromosomes are doubled, here the chromosomes are not. So what's the role of mitosis? Why is it so important? Well, it's a type of cell division that produces identical cells. And the process ensures that daughter cells will receive an exact copy of a genetic information. And this is important if you're growing, new cells need to have the same instructions as the old cells. And so mitosis is the basis of growth, repair, and asexual reproduction in eukaryotic organisms. So now let's find out how it works. How do we go from one cell to two identical cells? So remember that mitosis is only a small part of the cell cycle. It happens after interface. So right now we're going to zoom in on this little slice of the cell cycle. And we're going to see that M phase, mitotic phase, consists of even smaller phases. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So all of these steps are found within this little slice of the cell cycle. Let's take each phase one at a time. So prophase is the first step of mitosis. And here a few interesting things happen. First of all, the chromatin is starting to condense into chromosomes. We can start to see the rod-shaped bodies. Also, the spindle begins to form. And in the case of animal cells, you'll also see the centrioles at either end of the spindle. Prometaphase follows closely after prophase. And here we can see that the chromosomes are now fully condensed into their rod-shaped form. We can also see that the nuclear envelope that surrounds the nucleus is disappearing. And finally, the spindle is attaching to the centromeres, the center of the sister chromatodes. This is followed by metaphase. I like to think of M for middle because in metaphase, the chromosomes made of sister chromatids are lining up in the middle of the cell. And this step is super important because this is gonna make sure that the new cells that form get all of the right genetic information. You can also see that at this point, the spindle is fully formed. So it's stretching from the two poles of the cell all the way to the middle where the chromosomes are lined up. Metaphase is followed by anaphase. In anaphase, the spindle is the star. Some of the spindle fibers are pulling apart the sister chromatids. And once the sister chromatids are separated, they're now considered independent, fully fledged chromosomes and the spindle will continue to pull them to opposite poles of the cell. Some of the spindle fibers, the ones that aren't attached to chromosomes, are going to pull apart in order to the lengthen the cell, and this will help the cell divide in the next step, which is telophase and cytokinesis. We lump these together because they happen almost simultaneously. In telophase, we see two nuclear envelopes start to reform. And so we get two identical nuclei. Each is containing a full set of the chromosomes that the original cell had. We also see that the spindle is disappearing. Its job is done. And 
cytokinesis is beginning. And we can tell that because a cleavage furrow has formed, and this is going to help separate the cytoplasm so that we get two identical cells. One last note. Uh, we just observed mitosis in an animal cell. If you were to observe this in a plant cell, there would be many similarities, but one key difference. In an animal cell during cytokinesis, we get the cleavage furrow because the cytoplasm is just pinching apart. But in plant cells, because they have a cell wall around their cell membrane, a cleavage furrow will not form. Instead, you'll get a cell plate made up of a cell wall rather than a cleavage furrow. And that concludes our investigation of mitosis, a small but important phase of the cell cycle.